channel DexLab Analytics. My name is Niharika Rai and in this particular video we will be continuing our natural language processing project. This is part 2 of that, the, that video. If you haven't watched my previous video, please click on the eye icon on the top right hand side corner of your screen so that you are directed to those videos. Also share, like and subscribe our channel if you haven't already. Um, so let's get started with the video. We are using the same data, continuing the same project uh, in our previous video. For, uh, now from, uh, from the moment we um, lamentized, our, lamentized our text and stored it in lem or stem for stemming in that case. Now what we are going to do is we are going to import NLT from NLTK library frequency distribution. So we want to see how many um, uh, the frequency of basically the words which are there in the text. So for that we are using frequency distribution method and we are storing it in F uh, variable and a stem is nothing but the stem uh, stem variable which in which our data was or originally stored after that what we are going to do is uh, we are going to apply the most common uh, method here and we are going to take 10 as in variable and this is going to loop in with the uh, with this particular for loop and we'll get a result as j that is whatever the variable name is and whatever the count of the number is so this is going to count the numbers as well as this is going to give us the name of the numbers as well so original data will go in j and the count will go in i and here we have a print j colon and then we have um, i here so we get to see that the food is the maximum uh, the, the maximum frequency of the um, data is uh, word or text is 149 now 10 basically means that how many frequencies you want to see in reality so you can go ahead and see top 10 and uh, text frequencies which are continuously being uh, used here now 149 is the food cervix uh, good buffet staff restaurant breakfast great hotel laliti these are the uh, words which are being frequently used 10 most frequently used words now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, we are going to install a library that is called text blob text blob, li blob library helps us um, helps us import um, or you can say helps us check the polarity of the text in reality so what does polarity means polarity means how um, how positive or the word in in the sense of sentiments how positive or the negative a word is if the word is negative the result will be minus one if it is a positive the result will by max go one and in between are the uh, the the proportions in which the word is positive or negative in reality so uh, here I have a library that uh, sorry here I have a list wherein I'm empty list I'm storing it in sent underscore score and I'm going to use that same stem uh, stem which we have uh, uh, used uh, variable which we have used uh, to store our uh, stemmed data and stem is being one by one each letter will go inside this particular method and sent underscore um, sent underscore score uh, list will be uh, appended by the polarity of the text so here we are using text blob i i is the word dot sentiment dot polarity so polarity will give us the um, the polarity of the original word now once we have that what we can do is we can uh, arrange we can use a dictionary that is word whatever the word is and use the polarity sense score uh, and store it in a dd variable creating a dictionary once that is done we can again change the original data the change the data into a data frame and hence we have top hence we have the uh, top head rows of the polarity here so here the the word went has night is neither a positive word or a negative word fine is mostly a positive word that, that has polarity of 0.41 here again test is nothing but um, has zero polarity so that's that destroy is negative 0.2 it can be um, 
uh, it can again range from minus one to anything so these are the the polarity scores in front of us now what we are going to do is um, we are going to see that uh, what is the which word has the maximum of polarity so here we are using a condition which states dd polarity score double equals to dd polarity score if polarity score is is equals to the maximum of polarity score we want the word of word uh, the column of word here we want the result in um, the word and the polarity score extracted from the original data frame once we do that we have a word polarity a uh, word polarity underscore score and here we go we have super best best superb best perfect also has a polarity of one that is the most positive word you can say so all these words are being constantly being repeated here so one more thing to do is we can uh, we can use the value count method to count how many times this particular word uh, is being used as well for but that is uh, a question of that is something you can try on your by yourself now what we can do is uh, we can also take the count of uh, you know maximum uh, frequency words so again we have taken if the polarity score double equals to the maximum of polarity score then just take the count of that so how many how many words have the polarity of one 30 30 words are there that have the polarity of one here uh, again minimum score minimum score is the uh, word for uh, worst so here we have polarity score equals to polarity score minimum word polarity we have the worst of the worst polarity as minus one so here we can see that the polarity is minus one that means the most negative word is worst again we can take the count as well and how many then then let's say that how many uh, words have the polarity of zero here so the polarity of zero ha, uh, is um, here uh, can be extracted with the help of this particular method where i just condition that if the polarity score double equals to 0 0.01 0 um, then extract the word and the polarity score here so we have uh, word polarity score and uh, we are able to extract that so bent lalit hotel task service buffet read tea um, weight quality food these all have zero polarity score if we count that by using this particular method we get um, if uh, 4951 as a result now again extracting the same data frame again we are going to use uh, logistic direction to, and with the help of this polarity score we will try to uh, predict the whether the the word or other sentence is uh, negative or positive so here again importing the data extracting just looking at the head top rows then again using the the lambda function to just uh, change the case of this particular column then uh, the same uh, the same treatment is being done for the entire data which has been explained in the previous section so i'm not going to explain this part but what i'm going to do is i'm going to just quickly go through these codes and not directly explain them you can see my previous video for the detailed explanation of these methods removing the stop words here extracting the text from the original data frame we have nlt.corpus stop words to import to remove the stop words from this particular text which is being stored in text method and then this txt uh, is uh, being uh, used to create a new list uh, here and then this new can be uh, written like that and we can also remove all these spaces that are there if there are any spaces just uh, sorry if there are any um, values that uh, that need to be replaced we can replace that as well so yeah if that's the case now w 
is being used inside this method just for you know um, explanation we will just get through this in a second um, here what we are doing is we are trying to remove the punctuation for that we are um, making a function that recognizes a letter and if there is any um, letter that is matches to the punctuation we will remove that so x and k are the variables here and k is the text and x is what has to be stored and given back returned so once the punctuations are removed we can see the text again and that's that now we want to also remove the digits so to remove the digits if the word is a string what we can do is we can take a range values for each range 0 to 9 and if the range is there then in that case we can remove that uh, particular rm dot i remove whatever is a digit if the number is digit and store it in dg here okay so digits are also removed we had 24 7 here if you can see 24 7 the 24 7 is also removed so we have only uh, nothing left there and then again uh, now strip method what it does is it basically removes the spaces uh, before and after a text or a sentence so that is what is being happening we are just removing the white spaces and just printing the original uh, text in reality so trailing and if you press shift tab you will see that returns a copy of a string with leading and trailing white spaces removed. So all the white spaces that we included in our text are removed here. Again, um, using the Potter method, we are since we haven't done it yet, we will be again stemming the entire uh, data and we are using um, i dot split method wherein we are just stemming each word and joining it, joining it with a white space uh, because there were none in reality before and that's that and once we do that we have a text like that where went lalit hotel fine test service diminish and this is one sentence then then would rather dhaba sit restaurant again these are the other sentences now what we are going to do is we are going to import two particular libraries um, uh, or say methods that is count vectorizer and tfit transformer uh, transformer so what it this particular method count vectorizer does it it converts the collection a collection of text into um, a matrix of token count so it basically gives a number to the uh, text so that we are able to uh, you know instead of extracting instead of using this vent we can uh, use that number to see the polarity wherein and why we do that is because um, our uh, language python language or say any other language does not uh, our computer in particular does not understand the the text in reality so what we do is we give them numbers and then we try to um, uh, if we want to predict the future uh, future data uh, wherein you say that this particular sentence is a uh, is a uh, a negative sentence or a positive sentence so with the help of uh, this uh, particular count vectorizer will be able to do that uh, without using the original text the numbers will be used to predict the polarity of the uh, predict the polarity of the original text so what we are doing here is we are uh, storing this method in vectorizer and in vectorizer we are fitting the final data which we have created that is r that is this text and fitting the original data and then again in machine learning we transform it as well so we are transforming it in the data um, uh, on the vectorizer method and we are storing it in rt now now the count vectorizer vectorizer gives the data the return it returns a value in counts uh, and uh, the tfidf transformer gives uh, the result in uh, normalizes the result into in reality so it gives the the say word a word cat can repeat 20 times and it can give it a value of 0 0.20 instead so that's that now um, 
now again so using the value as uh, we're using the original data rt and storing it in tdf here and tdf dot to array r underscore d now we are converting this entire uh, tdf count into an array format now again uh, taking the polarity uh, polarity of each value what we are doing here is we are using um, a lambda function storing it in p wherein we have the lambda x text blob x sentiment dot polarity now again running the original data in this polarity uh, method we have r text storing it in p so the, the the result is in terms of polarity now we are what actually actually what we are doing here is again that pnl score is enumerated and this is used uh, this particular method is used uh, to uh, convert the polarity if the value is below uh, below zero then in that case we say that the the value is one uh, basically what we are doing here is we are changing the the polarity from uh, minus 1 to 1 from minus 1 to 1 to 0 and 1 only so that we get only two uh, values that is yes and no because logistic regression it can only be applied on uh, binary uh, predictions and not more than that so for that we are converting this entire uh, count vectorizer and all that polarity sorry thing into uh, 0 and 1 instead of the range between 0 and 1 uh, minus 1 and 1 so that's that so if the the word is if the polarity is less than 1 then that in that sense we say that the word is negative and if in case the the polarity is um, greater than 1 in that case we uh, say that the polarity should be 1 instead so once we run that and j is nothing but is um, is the value or the index of that particular list and uh, that's that and on that list we are updating or changing the the actual result here so now now what we have is uh, our data which uh, which is a column which can be predicted in terms of yes or no or say negative or positive instead of uh, minus uh, minus 0 0.2 or minus 0 0.3 here now again changing that the 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 change again changing the the data into an array and in the variable is here now converting calling the tra train and test column uh, method here and changing the entire data into train and test we are taking 30 percent of the test size um, random state is zero in our case um, now uh, Im again importing the logistic model here and logistic regression storing in uh, storing it in model variable and then fitting the data that is x train and y train in model and again model check and checking the scores of the same so once that score is checked we see that the 80 percent of the predictions are being uh, are almost correct in this regards and the intercept is minus 0 0.47 and model coefficient that is the coefficient of the model uh, by max is 3.99 here so that is what predictions are being made you can use model dot predict and uh, an extended version would be to just use model and dot predict um, use your test data to predict the y data instead and see if the the the, the data is in reality negative or positive so that's it for this video uh, if you like this video please click on the like button also share with your friends if you want um, click on the notification uh, bell icon so that um, so that you are updated every time we uh, share a video if you want to contact us you can contact us via writing us on mail on hello at the rate lab analytics.com you can also call us on this number or whatsapp on whatsapp us on the given number given on the screen uh, our uh, official website uh, website id is www.dexlabanalytics.com we are currently placed in gurga uh, hope you like this video uh, bye bye take care thank you for watching